Hey guys, 66 here, and today I am going to showcase how to absolutely destroy Sky Striker with Pendulums with Orcus. Alright, this is a Pen Orcus build. You can also do this in Endymion without Orcus. By the way, this list is absolutely awful. This is my uh, Forstrix Curious Griffin Lock pen deck. It's just a worse version of my Trisha Love pens, and it's not as consistent as regular Orcus pen. It doesn't even have Guard Dragons, okay? So this was an awful pendulum list but uh, I'll, here i'll showcase how you destroy sky striker with this list all right but let's get into it let's just fast forward through this here we go we both draw our hands look this hand's awful right this is game one he makes me go first he won the die roll and i, I don't even turbo card this game because he ashes my uh he ashes my allure so i didn't have a scale in hand for the alliance so i'm gonna just do like a trash board I'm gonna do a trash board, just just the Orcus board, nothing else, no real follow-up at all. But uh, guess what? He he is a Sky Striker player, and he didn't draw away to Ray, so he can't out this. And he just scoops it up because he wants me to blind side. So guess what? I did not side. I didn't even know I was going first or second. Okay, so I didn't side, and he opens up. He opens up just fine. Boom, Kagari. He just plays through this, man. He just plays through this. And it's not a great opening, but, I mean, for Strikers, this is, like, pretty average. This isn't that bad. This isn't, like, an awful opening. This is an average hand for Striker, right? So, uh, guess what? I, ju I just play through it. Okay, he shared right. He gets a plus. Whatever. Well, I guess it's neutral. Whatever. Forces me not to search. I don't care. Electromite doesn't search. Oath doesn't search, right? They, they go from extra deck. So things go through, I go into Utopia Double, he ashes it, I saw that coming. That's why I made the Electromite, so I would have an extra monster go into Mermaid. And now I just Orcus combo. And I completely outgrind him. You guys want to like, beat Striker, OTK them? Without Utopia Double, that's not gonna happen. Don't even try, don't spam out monsters, that's a horrible idea. Just grind them, keep your resources in cycle, keep grinding them until they lose. Alright? If Mermaid gets banned, just play Endymions. Play more Endymion cards and you'll be good. But this is how you beat them with Orcus. Look, I just completely outgrind him. He goes through, but it doesn't matter. Like, look. Look at how commanding of a game state he has right now. He has two guards in hand. He has multi-roll up. He has all of this up. All I have is a Dingirisu, some mediocre tier scales. You know, Oath doesn't even have a target in my extra deck. Not even a good extra deck, because I kept overlaying this game. A mastery set that he's probably going to get rid of. And a Mirror Mirror. Like, this is an awful hand. I have one Crescendo in Grave. All my Orcus cards are in the deck. And Nightmare's Banner, so I have like one Orcus cycle left. This is, by all means, an awful board I have. And he's in a commanding position. But guess what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He has all this. He's not going to be able to win. He's straight up not going to be able to win. So he goes through, he tries to clear my board, right? But that doesn't matter, because I outgrind him. Crescendo gets me Nightmare back. And now I'm in the commanding position, even though he has all this stuff up. He has an engage thing. Yeah, he has engage, widow, and multi-roll with an Ingirsu. I have nothing. I drew secrets, right? And I have no targets left, because this deck sucks and doesn't play proper racials. I don't play enough spellbook cards, basically. But guess what? It's not going to matter. I'm completely going to decimate him. But absolutely crush him. So yeah, you just outgrind. They open up, you can't out the board, you can't OTK with Utopia Double. It doesn't matter. Grind. Grind. If you have an Orca setup and you have scales, they can't do anything about it. Just grind. Here, he gets off the engage and everything, right? He, he, he's in such a good spot. Takes my stuff. He goes off, right? He goes off and he clears everything. But guess what? Again, it doesn't matter. Like, he makes the Hira, he gets my Phoenix. Now, again, he's in such a good position. But I drew Foolish, because, you know, I just drew Secrets, I had Mirror Mirror in my hand, I had Zephyr. Eventually, I was going to draw something that was decent, right? So then what happens? Then what happens? Okay, he hits my scale, he hits the wrong one. But that was a correct decision on his part, right? Because most decks have more high skills and low skills. And if he hit the Harmo, I could just scale the Dark Room if I had to, right? Most decks, like 90% of Pendulum decks, have more high skills and low skills. So you want to hit the low scale. Guess why I had Foolish? Because this deck, if you draw Secrets and you draw Mirror Mirror, you're eventually going to draw a good card. 
over the course of a tournament, it's all going to even out, even in the course of a game. And now look, because of my one Dark Worm, I'm completely able to outgrind him. I make Utopia, because this extra deck's trash, okay? Can't view my own extra deck. This extra deck's trash, because I, I, what I had was a Yazzie that couldn't do anything, a Linkaribo that couldn't do anything, a Curious, okay, not making that, Griffin, not making that, and like, what else? I had one more, I think. I had nothing. No, I had four strikes. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Because I only have Boral Sword in this deck. But guess what? Again, it doesn't matter. I make Utopia. And he, he has his desires now, right? He draws pretty bad off desires. He draws desires and the Bureau. But it's still a plus. It's still a plus one, okay? He's still discard. He still has area zero to get rid of the desires by setting it. And he's still in not the worst position. But guess what? My Utopia is going to beat him. My Utopia is going to outright him. He can't out it. Because he can't. I can negate his attacks. My Utopia is getting things done. He draws area zero. Boom. Right? Now he has plays again. But guess what? He has no rays left. Because I outgrinded him. He had to break my board. So he burned through all his rays. He burned through his Kagari. He can't make anything anymore. He is simply incapable of doing that. He can't make plays anymore. Gets the Shark Cannon, right? He gets lucky and hits off Area Zero. Gets the Dingirsu. I should be losing right now. But guess what? I don't. Like, this, by all means, I should lose. But I don't. That's the beauty of Pendulum. I outgrind him. I have nothing my extra deck of Pen Summon. But it doesn't matter. Because he has nothing either. If I didn't have Marimer, I would have won a long time ago. If I had Marimer in my deck. But here we go. We keep going. We push on. Empowerment. Summon Dragonox. Dragonox sets my purple poison from my grave. And at this point, he knows he loses. Why? Because he has six cards left in deck, and he cannot out the purple poison without letting it trigger, kill his card, and let me go for game. He's in such a bad spot, because if he kills poison, I'll kill this, and I'll attack for game. If he doesn't kill poison, I'll just sit, and he'll deck out. He has nothing he can do. If he kills these cards, I'll pen summon them back out. He has no options. If he kills Purple Poison, also I'll pen summon it back out. I can just sit, and he cannot beat this. He cannot play through this. My mouse is the loudest mouse ever. He gets Horde of Drones, but it doesn't matter because he has a card here. He can't use it. And he realizes, oh, I have four cards left in deck. And he realizes it's game over. He has Twin Twisters. He can pop my skills. It doesn't matter. Because he knows that with the four cards he has in his deck, he cannot beat me. He cannot kill this before he decks out. He did too much searching and I win. That's how you beat Sky Striker. It's as simple as that. You have to outgrind them. If it's in a tournament, you just scoop and then you game three, you go first, put up infinity decades and you win. But since this is dueling book, feel free to just slowly outgrind them. If you need to win one game, just outgrind them. Simple as that. I know this video is a complete, absolute mess of just me doing stuff, because kind of just wanted to make this spontaneously. Uh, here's my Altergeist Orcus deck. You guys can try it. Meliseek is so broken going second, it's not even funny. And uh, yeah, so here's uh, my default deck right now, my going second pendulums. You guys can look at this as well. This deck's absolutely excellent in my opinion. Triff is underestimating Penn's ability to just blind second and win. Because every deck right now, they, they can't go first anymore. The combo decks are too scared of the Biru and they can't play anymore. So you br bring out this deck and you just OTK everyone with Utopia Double. Or you just outgrind with Oath Pit. It's so easy to win with this deck, man. As long as you don't draw Mind Control going first, right? As long as you get to go second... Your opponent doesn't force you to go first, you just win. Or if you mess up in the siding process and you don't account for the fact that they make you go first, they make you go first and you lose. If you lost and you're siding, you can just side in going first cards and put up 6, 7 negates, right? <laughs> this deck is absolutely excellent. You guys should check it out. It's really fun too. And I guess I'm just showing off my decks now because I have nothing better to do. On Eyes, this deck I haven't tried yet, but... I kind of based it off of the one Triff did a profile on. Mirage is broken, so like, maybe, because this is Guard Dragon combo, right? I might try this out. Cyber Dragon are really good right now, you know why? 
Cyber Dragon Orcus is better because Cyber Dragon Orcus is better. Why is that? Because Cyber Dragon Orcus hard counters Cyber Dragon Orcus. <laughs> they have their full board, you summon one Cyber Dragon from your hand? Go into Fortress and attack? <laughs> GG. The Cyber Dragon Orcus hard counters itself. That's why Cyber Dragons will never, ever, ever be meta as a deck. Because they hard counter themselves. That's why. This deck's so good against Orcus, so though. You just make a uh, Fortress Dragon <laughs> and uh, call GG. It's fun, it's fun. I don't know what I'm doing with this video at this point. I'm just making it harder for myself, honestly. Pen Orcus, yeah, this deck's insane. This deck puts up so many negates with the guard Dragon. Man, I, I'm just having fun with this at this point, man. I'm just having fun with this. This deck doesn't really like this spellbook as much as it could. Because the goal with uh, this deck is there's no Orcus combo or anything, right? You just want a Saryuja and a Dark Worm. That's the Trish game plan. The Trish game plan, alright? I should make another Metaphys deck, probably. Magispectors, as Triff has shown, is absolutely broken. <laughs> he has no right to be as good as it is, but Pegasus is actually insane. Tornado is so good. Yeah, so I guess that's gonna be all for today, guys. <laughs> I'll just be making a Makura discussion, so well, look out for that. That video is gonna be excellent, I hope. I'm gonna just go all out on that editing process. That's me all for today, guys. Take care, y'all. Goodbye.